Hey guys, I'm Brian as always, and welcome to my channel. As I'm starting to get ready for this weekend to build my HTPC, I've got a few other things I'd like to share with you guys. One of them being the Vision Tech Candy Board. This small and versatile keyboard can be a crucial component when helping to maintain the convenience of an HTPC. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a small demonstration of how well this keyboard can work. On Janly Style! All right, so here it is, Candy Board by Vision Tech. I'm going to just take the box off now, and we can look at the in packaging inside. All right, so it says it works with Windows, PS3, Xbox 360, Mac, and Linux. It's a wireless keyboard with touchpad. 2.4 gigahertz wireless, USB symbol, RF, so radio frequency maybe. just says basically the same thing over. It is a full QWERTY keyboard with hotkeys, LED backlit, for low light environments so awesome in case I want you know play video games in the dark and rechargeable ion battery replaceable ion battery proves advanced technology allows for faster charging times longer usage and greater standby times oh sweet alright let's see what else we got in here looks like a charger cord and user's manual it reminds me of like the old fully keyed smartphones and stuff like that hell even before they had smartphones i love that feeling all right oh there we go there's the usb right there pretty small and convenient easy to take with looks like it basically has a cell phone battery first thing i can't help but notice is the fact that it has a control alt delete in one easy function key why is this not a thing what why is this taking so long to figure out that is f amazing your touch screen on off switch charger ports across the top we have four LEDs from the top down we have the RF communication indicator the second one is the charging indicator and the battery capacity indicator the third one is the touchpad DPI adjustment from green to red, and the bottom one is the caps lock indicator. Next you have the RF, so if you need to have more than one of these connected, they can be connected to different frequencies, print screen, mute, volume down, volume up, the windows key, mail key, F7 is actually the key to switch it from regular to sideways, so vertical or horizontal. F7, flip it, F7, flip it back. F8 is the media key. F9 is the calculator. Back, play, pause, forward, delete, the control out delete button. And then here's the DPI adjustment so you can have it at a faster or a slower pace. And then there's the function key. I'm going to go ahead and just flip this on. Lights come on real fast. Shut right back off if you need to. Button's right there, easy to find. It's dim, but for you guys it looks pretty light. Overall, I'd, I'd say the uh, backlighting is pretty good. Dim enough that I, th I really think it would save the battery. But bright enough that it'd be easy to navigate some late night Netflix or YouTube. Alright, so just for size comparisons, here's the remote to my stereo. And here is my HTC One. About the same size as a remote. Slightly smaller than your average smartphone. Another quick comparison in size, for those of you that said that you would fat finger this keyboard, here's the Razer Naga and the Vision Tech Candy Board side by side. The buttons are about the same size. Also, an Xbox controller. The keys are only slightly smaller than the Xbox controller, so unless you're fat fingering an Xbox controller, this keyboard would probably still work for you. One other thing to note is that the keys are convex, making it easier to access them without fat fingering the other ones around it. Alright guys, here goes the test. Let's see how well it works. Oh, the irony. Plugging in a keyboard to make a wireless keyboard work. Device is ready to use. Alright, so I figured the easiest way to test this out would be playing a simple game that doesn't have too many buttons or, you know, coordinated movements. So I picked Diablo 3. Still just using this. Pretty responsive. I don't really notice too much lag. In fact, I don't notice any lag at all. Uh, 
Let's just kill stuff. It's hopeless. The tap works just fine. I don't even have to left click. That's good, I suppose. Oh, there's a thing I have to fight. Oh, uh. Okay, maybe this is gonna be harder than I thought. All right, once you get it locked in, and you just hold down the fight button, it works just fine. He follows him around and everything. Yeah, fuck this. I am returning to top. Right, let's see what else buttons we got. I'll do the Windows button, function, window, hold function, hit window. Okay. Function, mail button. Oh, oh well, wow. pulled up Outlook. Didn't even notice that you had an Outlook. Oh, sweet. It pulled Google right open. Awesome. This is really fast. I expect this to have some serious lag on it. Oh no, how to end up here? Oh, oh, it's my channel. Turn the green setting. Oh, the green setting's slow. Oh yeah, definitely red setting's better. Function control alt delete. That works really well. Back to escape. Man, this thing is freaking amazing. I just want to say this. Upstairs more HTPC. I'm gonna have a mouse. I'm gonna have this keyboard. And if I'm gonna be playing games, it's most likely gonna be platformers with my Xbox controller. So Using this for gaming is really impractical. I just thought it'd be fun to show what it can do. Overall, I'm really happy with this keyboard. The two gripes that I have is that the function key, it says it rotates this way if you look at the icon, but really, when you flip it to vertical, it flips this way. Ah, uh, I'm just OCD. I would prefer it to have been this way, but I can live with it this way. I, I just wish there was a way to change it. The second problem I had is the colors of the DPI indication LED. Red is actually faster than green. It doesn't specify what actual DPI either of them are. And in my brain, green goes faster than red because of traffic signals. Either way, I, I know the difference. It just, it would have been the little thing to give me the warm and fuzzies inside. I can live with both problems. It's just, I wish they would have thought of it before they put it out. Honestly though, any little gripe that I had about this keyboard is completely outweighed by the fact that it's really portable, compatible, and just fun to have. If I'm going to take my computer to somebody else's house, it's going to be so much more portable to just stick the controller in my pocket than have to carry a full-size keyboard in a backpack or something like that. That's the whole point of having a LAN box. Portability. Alright guys, thanks for checking out my unboxing and review of the Vision Tech Candy Board. I really hope I persuaded some of you to consider a smaller keyboard for your HTPCs. And if you'd like to see me playing some Battlefield with this, I'll leave a couple of clips at the end, but it's really not all that impressive. I think I'd rather use a controller. Either way, go ahead and uh, give me a subscribe, a like, a follow, whatever you feel like you should do. All support of my channel and my pages are very much appreciated. Thanks for tuning in to today's... Chanley stuff.